too. We've heard um, from our academic colleagues about three things, I suppose. One is around the tools and techniques. Um, the other is the context and scenarios in which those might be applied. And the third, the broad band of applicability, starting with uh, AI readiness, but extending to a much wider set of uh, business uh, challenges. So um, my, my job, I think, this afternoon is just to comment um, on how all of that might be perceived from the perspective of the managing partner on the senior management team. Now, as Richard said, I served quite a long period, 15 years or so, um, as managing partner of Lewis Silkin. And I think in that time, covered off pretty much every regular uh, professional services firm challenge that uh, people have to approach, and quite a few irregular ones uh, as, as well. Um, and um, most of the big decisions, pretty much all of the big decisions, get taken in some kind of board or group um, context and having had some involvement um, in this project has made me reflect quite a bit on how we approach those uh, decisions and I think in many ways uh, you know we were very good at the uh, black letter uh, analytical um, approach to uh, decision making um, but uh, not always so good at the, um, uh, the creative side of the decision making the working with ambiguity uh, the blank sheet of paper uh, and, and so on. So taking a, a couple of examples of that, uh, if you were looking at the uh, taking on of new office space, we could be very good about defining our financial requirements, our risk, um, what we wanted to see in the uh, lease documents uh, and so on, but much less good perhaps uh, about thinking of delivering the human experience um, uh, within the building um, and creating the best environment for uh, collaboration. We could be very good at designing a new set of um, associate career development um, benchmarks, really to get consistency of method um, and uh, uh, manage the kind of legal and HR risks across the business, but not always so good uh, in delivering a human centered emotional um, experience for that generation of talent uh, as they were uh, developing. And maybe even on the client side, really good at. Uh, extensive text of describing our, our service offering and refreshing that, uh, you know, month in, month out uh, through the various channels, but not always that good at creating the um, uh, engagement or making sure that the solutions being proposed were right as close as they should be uh, to different client requirements. Now, none of that is to say that we didn't seek or listen to advice on uh, good business um, uh, design on the approach to, to challenges, um, and that I think the approach we were taking was very much um, in common with uh, a lot of other firms um, uh, as they were looking at these, uh, these challenges. Um, but rather to say, I think particularly with the benefit of the um, involvement in this uh, project over the last few, few months and so on, that we didn't always take up the opportunity uh, to apply the most uh, creative methods. Um, uh, there were very few discussions, I think, about um, scenario uh, hypotheses to draw on some of the material from the previous sessions. Uh, and I think almost no instances uh, of the management board working with low fi prototypes, um, and perhaps there, there should have been. So I guess my take um, on the relevance of the research that you've been hearing about um, for the practical tasks in front of PSS at the moment is really three things. Um, first, if as a result of your experiences and the challenge you've taken on over the last year, you've come to believe not only that your firm can be more uh, creative, uh, but in fact that it must be uh, more creative, how are you going to go about doing that unless it's some change in the way that you approach these kinds of decisions? Um, second, if you think that there may be a role for more creative approaches to design uh, and to problem solving uh, within your business, um, how are you going to uh, model um, and propagate that behavior within the organization if it's not led from the most uh, uh, senior team? Um, and third, if you think there is a case for this kind of uh, methodology and you think that the board needs to be adopting it, what methods have you come across that are more apt for solving creative challenges um, in a group uh, uh, environment than the kind of ones that have been uh, based on this academic research um, and described, albeit only an outline to us uh, today. So